Hi everyone, this will be a um, different kind of video. I just wanted to show you one of my hobbies uh, that is uh, kind of connecting my work life and my uh, my bridge life, or <laughs> bridge is a hobby for me, but um, the point is you can try to do data analysis on bridge data. And the way you do that is uh, by generating it uh, through a so-called simulation program or um, yeah it's kind of a package in Python so Thomas Andrew had a program called deal and um, it's been re-implemented in Python in, in a, a package called redeal and I'm on the github ha uh, page here um, if any of this um, if any of this language strikes you as completely Greek or completely strange then uh, maybe this vi video will be difficult to f uh, for you to follow, but I will try to um, address all audiences in one way or another. Um, so there is quite a nice uh, description here in, uh, in this readme file. So it also explains you how to uh, install it. I basically did exactly what the um, GitHub page told me, and it worked. So that's all I can say that uh, it somehow somehow uh, seemed to work and um, what it means is that, um, that now in my python um, um, if i write a code in python then on my computer at least i can just import this package and do whatever i want with it um, so basically what, what do you do with a um, simulation package what you do is uh, you just deal a bunch of hands and do some statistics on it on them so, for example, if I just uh, tell um, uh, tell Redale like, "Oh, deal me two hands," then you just get two hands. It's very easy. Um, and uh, you can also just say like, "Okay, well, look, I have this hand, and I I want to try to learn uh, what to do with it, two or three hearts." You can just uh, give this as a constraint, like South has this hand, and uh, give me a bunch of hands that are compatible with this. And these are all like statistically uh, realistic, so. You know, each of these hands appears with their proper probability. Well, um, it's a bit. <laughs> each hand has a has the same probability, of course, but uh, um, they're not biased towards partner having too many hearts or too few hearts. Uh, is what I'm trying to say. And you can also change the format and do lots of different things. Like this would be a script. Uh, this would be one spade but uh, dot pi, which. Um, just gives you one spade opener so for example length of um, the spades is uh, larger than five and uh, the high, high card points from uh, north is uh, larger than or equal than um, than 12. and then this is uh, where we get into the discussion of like well is this really a one spade opener like well what if north has 22 points and it's probably two clubs and then other people will say like well what if it's a 5 5 uh, 11 count of course north will open one spade so then you get into uh, you get down this rabbit trail of like what's the perfect um, what are the perfect criteria and the answer is you don't have perfect criteria you just have to make do with what you have so what it means is uh, sometimes um, yeah I mean you can't tell your com your computer what you would do you can o only try to like approximate it to some extent. But in this case, um, mm, these are obviously all one one spade openers. If you just look at um, this uh, column here, but um, but yeah, so sometimes this introduces some errors in your um, in your um, in your code or like like in your in your data set, definitely. Mm. So. So yeah, you have lots of different uh, ways of using it. And um, the way I, I want to use it is one of kind of an advanced way. I, I probably didn't use it very uh, in a very advanced way myself, but let's say, let's say we want to figure out what's the shape, um, what's the effect of shape on the chances of making uh, a three node Trump. So for this, I wrote um, a script. It's still like relatively simple. 
by the way, I'm not using uh, Jupyter Notebooks, so um, I'm, I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I use Joe, just a plain text editor, and I just uh, run it from a different window. Um, you can see that I'm not a proper like pro uh, um, data scientist. I don't think they, they would do that, but maybe they can tell me in the comments if there's any of them on BBO. Um, so basically, I have four different criteria based on which I can accept. So one of them is uh, that south must be 4333, 4333, any order. So this parenthesis is exactly uh, is used in exactly the same way as uh, it's used in like bridge magazines or bridge fora. That it means that it's 44333 four, four, in any order, if they're, they're in brackets. 5332 in, in any order or 6322 in any order. And um, again, um, for north, you also have some restrictions. In this case, I just said it's balanced or semi-balanced. So for example, it could technically happen then that in, in this case, you have like five spades in south uh, uh, or six spades in south and five in north. So this is a very, very approximate way of looking at it, definitely. And I could have tried to restrict it. On the other hand, um, um, the high card points you need for three no trump, if you have a five three spade fit, is the same as the one you needed, uh, the, the one you need for um, three no trump with a five three club fit or diamond fit, right? So in that case, you would go for three no trump. So I didn't want to complicate this code and I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And finally, except for, I just have um, the same. So uh, north is balanced and semi-balanced and south is ba balanced or semi-balanced. And I just said, okay, I, I want them to have at least 20 points. So this means that I will um, reject roughly half of my um, half of my uh, deals. Um, of course, I could just flip it and saying that, okay, if East-West have more points than North-South and East-West are playing screen or Trump, but I didn't want to complicate the program. It's, uh, it's fine the way it is. And uh, this is some kind of setup here. Don't worry about it. The main thing you need to worry about is this. There's a deal prepare. This is a dealer. It's going to be, um, I don't even know what it's called. It's a method or something or an object. I think it's yeah. I think technically in Python everything is an object, so it's <laughs> it's safe to call it an object. So deal dealer is deal prepare without any preparation. So I could have told deal for example that oh south has five spades or so. I didn't I, I didn't say any of it or like I, I pre deal south five spades. I didn't do it. I just said it, prepare for everything or don't prepare at all. Uh, this is some kind of that data, data structures. I have some dictionaries. I like dictionaries in Python, but uh, I think they're kind of elegant, but uh, probably not uh, very high performance. But in this case, it's fine. Um, so what I do here, I just make sure that I have at least a hundred samples for each high card point count. And in this case, I, I took 30 as the interesting part. So somewhere between 20 and 30, there's a cutoff point where if you have that many points, you definitely want to be in 3 no Trump, right? Um, and then, actually these five lines are especially important. So a deal is gonna be generated here. It's a dealer without any inputs. If we don't accept the deal, we continue. We just ignore it, right? If we do accept the deal, then we count the points from north, north and south. And we get a score from three no Trump. So this is the double dummy result of three no Trump played by South. I could have said, okay, well, I want to play it by North or by South or whatever. I just kept it as simple as possible. South is going to be declared and South has one of these three shapes. Four triple three, five three three two or six three two two. And then if the score is positive, then obviously we made it. Otherwise we went down. And then I do some kind of data aggregation and, and I do some uh, analysis on the outputs. Um, I'm not going to run this code here because it takes about 15 minutes. And um, in fact, I had a previous recording when I was going to run it, but it uh, some there were some technical difficulties as always. 
but these are some of the outputs that you get. So for example, for 4333, for 20 points, you have seven deals made and 656 went down. So this is 1% making and so on. So roughly about 24, 25 points is where you're you're gonna be interested in, in bidding three note run. So it's not a guarantee, but it's at least interesting. 38% that's already at vulnerable at IMS, you probably want to be in three note room. Now, again, these are double dummy results. So this assumes that the defense made the best lead in each three note Trump. And of course, lots of the time when you make three note Trump and uh, later you go to the pub and you see you should have gone down because uh, the opening lead was wrong, right? So the opening lead is a very key moment, especially in three note Trump. So uh, you get an unfair advantage as a defender if you can just pick their best double dummy lead out of the 13 cards. On the other hand, later on in the play, um, especially early in the first few tricks, I think, um, for declarer, declarer, if, if declarer can see the whole whole deal, then often after after the lead is made, then uh, the whole, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they can basically just claim like, okay, I finesse this, I finesse that that way, and uh, I, I just uh, squeeze east and then I'm gonna make. So uh, opening lead, I think, is usually where a defense would like to do it double dummy and um, and um, in the actual play of the cards, uh, usually declarer has an advantage. So these two are maybe a wash. Some people would start to argue, so actually it's very difficult to convince people of this. But let's just look at the results anyway. So what I'm gonna show you here is the probability of making three no trump. This is the y-axis as a function of the total high card points. So all of the curves are more or less on top of each other. So that with 20 points, you're very unlikely. You still have a few lucky cases. Um, and for like 30 points, you're very, very likely. You're like 95% or 99% of making. The red symbols are four triple three. The blue symbols that you can barely see because they're kind of in the middle, they're five three three two, and the red symbols are six three two two. So the only interesting thing here is that six three two two at, at lowish high card points are a little um, is a little more successful. So what this kind of tells us is, if I have a six card minor or so, and we can figure out that we we can run that six card minor and we have enough stops outside, then sometimes 3 no trump is a good idea. But we still need to figure it out because overall uh, it's not a guarantee, of course. And um, um, if you try to aggregate these plots, by the way, the, these weird uh, shapes are sigmoidal fits or logistic fits. Mm, it's kind of a typical statistical method where uh, you're trying to get the probability out of a continuous variable. Where well, this is not a continuous variable, but it goes from uh, technically it goes from uh, zero high card points to forty. So it's kind of a large, um, a, a large interval, and we're kind of pretty sure that at zero high card points, you would get zero percent chance of making three no trump, and at forty, you're gonna get a hundred percent. And you're trying to figure out how this change goes between definitely not making and definitely making so somewhere around 24 25 you see that this probability drastically increases and uh, for like when, when you're in this very low or very high regime then uh, the probability barely changes so this is actually very close to what we would expect but then what is the how many points do we need to be 50 percent sure of three no trump is one way of comparing shapes right for 4333, we need 24.6, 66, 5332, 24.7, 6322, 24.5, so a tiny bit less, but um, not really significant. So with, with these error bars, these are the uncertainties in our fit. It's actually not that much better. It's a little above, or if you just look at the red curve somewhere here at the cutoff point, it's a bit above the, the rest, but not that much. The 24.9 is high card points. Any, I think uh, the problem here is that if, if you have maybe um, two completely um, undefined shapes, like if you have 5422 opposite 5422, 
then often you have like doubleton opposite doubleton or so and i think that that might be the case but be that as it may um this is still a weird uh um like like a, sorry this is still a, a small difference between these shapes so it's still about 0 0.1 0 0.2 points so basically what this would tell me if i trust the simulations and i'm actually not 100 percent convinced but at least i find them fun to do but this tells me that if i'm looking for three node trump only then high card points are much more important than the shape so uh, i'm not gonna sit there and say like oh well this is 6322 so this is i'm gonna add 0 0.2 um 0 0.2 high high card points like what is that i mean if i if i th if i know that my partner is 13 to 15 then what does it matter if I add or subtract 0 0.2 to my point count? There's always going to be a lot of uncertainty in bridge. And this is not something that we should be worried about that much. Because I actually hear this very often. Oh, I have I had 5332. I didn't have 4333. Three, three. But in, in fact, like statistically, it doesn't matter which one you have. It's just a balanced tank count. Just live with it. Of course, we could also then go and do some st uh, statistics about like ace ace queen versus uh, I don't know king jack king jack queen, and uh, I'm sure there are differences there as well. But um, to first approximation, shape doesn't matter in three node trump. Um, so yeah, this is what we got for three node trump, and for four spades I did the same. Hmm. And um, actually, that was going to be the, the main part of the video where I added the script and I, I show you what, what we get, but uh, I messed up the recording. So uh, I can only show you the final result. So this is a very different plot to the previous one. And you can see that the, well, I, I had, um, I basically gave one hand five spades exactly, no other restrictions, and the other hand, one of these three, uh, one of these three um, shapes, where the three is always spades. So one of the, uh, so, so one hand has five spades, the other hand one, uh, the other hand has uh, three, and you kind of change the shape. So four triple three has no shortness, has nothing. 4432 has a double tone but not much else and 4 and 5431 has a stiff so a three card support and a stiff and you can see that the probability in the red symbols is much 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 higher right um it's let's say for like 24 you're maybe on average you're at 60 percent but here you're like 75 and that's a that's a pretty nice jump in fact if you have the stiff you you only need about 22 points together um, to be profitable in four spades and um, yeah this is of course this is double dummy um, but still this is kind of like interesting right you, you have a stiff uh, you should uh, really think of upgrading and of course everybody knows this already but now you can reproduce it on a computer and then you can play around with it even more if you want so the points you need to make uh, uh, four spades like a toss up like 50% is on average so without any knowledge that what you have only that you have three spades I'm not quite sure what this means but whatever you need 23.3 points and 4432 is very close to that but if you have the stiff so 5431 it's one point less so 22 and if you really have a completely balanced Four triple three is twenty four. So actually, in that case, um, there's a, this common knowledge or like common wisdom that uh, if you're four triple three, you're not even supposed to look for uh, for game in that major. Mm, that's a bit exaggerated, but at least based on this simulation data, you would uh, you would be able to say something like that. It's kind of uh, uh, kind of striking, right? So this response curve is very different to the previous one. Um, so just just again, just to put them right next to each other. Mm. 
these two, right? So this is for four spades where the shape has yeah, quite a large impact on uh, on um, the probabilities and this is for three no trump where actually the, the shape has a relatively little uh, importance. You should just more or less um, a bit based on your point count. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the video. I hope you're you became interested in uh, in uh, simulations. There's a lot of even more advanced stuff that you can do. Um, for example, if you have some weird um, some weird uh, wishes, like let's say you want to have some eleven to fifteen with a stiff diamond or so. And then uh, it, it's very hard to to get them, so you would need to like simulate a bunch of hands until you get get it. But um, you can kind of like make the script evaluate what's the probability of that hand and like ba and kind of generate those hands based on those probabilities. It's a bit hard to explain, but um, but uh, that's the main uh, that's the main point. So. Um, so yeah, these are these are various ways you can use it, and uh, yeah, I hope you got interested in it. And I think I will have some uh, links in the description, so you can play with my code or uh, or play with these codes. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you around.